Manasseh, as, as you point out, um, had a business, uh, a printing press business. How influential was the fact that he had, he was a printer and was able to produce his own works and the works of others? He was extraordinarily influential. Um, not so much, uh, well, I think his printing press was some, something that got him in trouble with his own Jewish community. Uh, the leaders of the community sometimes disapproved of the things he was printing. But he was the first printer of Hebrew books in Amsterdam. There were uh, printers of Hebrew texts in Leiden and Utrecht and other university towns. But until Manasseh came along and set up his own printing house, um, there was no publisher of Hebrew texts in Amsterdam. And this was around 1626 or thereabouts. And moreover, he expanded his production, not just Hebrew texts, but all sorts of Judaica uh, in Spanish, in Portuguese, uh, in Yiddish, in English, and uh, even in Dutch. Um, and because of him and his influence, um, Amsterdam became the most important center of the publication of Judaica in Europe in the period. And he had clients, um, not just in the Netherlands uh, and not just in Spain and Portugal, but in England, um, in the German lands, in Poland, in Lithuania, uh, in Italy. So there's, there's no question that I think Manasseh's greatest fame and perhaps his most important contribution to Jewish history is as a printer.